Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up new events for the Mashbooth app, and how to assign your iPad to them. One of the most powerful features of the Mashbooth app is the ability to create events ahead of time, and the ability to customize each of those events with their own particular settings. This is also what allows you to capture the specific share data and emails from each event. But if you haven't set up your default settings for the Mashbooth app yet, be sure to watch my previous video on how to set up your default settings of the Mashbooth app. So now that my default settings are all set up, I'm ready to create an event and go to my event settings. To get to my event settings, I'm going to click on this events button in this tab over here. Now, this is the screen where you can create all your events ahead of time. Also, it's where you will obtain your share data and emails after your events are over. To create an event, I'm going to click on Create Event. As you can see, all my same Dropbox folders and messages are still here that I previously set up as my defaults. If you want to change anything that is specific to the new event that you are creating, like the Dropbox folders, hashtags, custom messages, or email template, you'll need to change them here. Remember, event settings are the settings that relate only to the specific event, and default settings are the settings that you will never or rarely change. For this demo, I'm just going to leave everything the same. Okay, so now all I need to do is name this event. If you recall from my previous video, we made folders for an event called YouTube Party. So now I'm just going to call this event YouTube Party. Now I'm just going to select today's date. And finally, I'm going to click on Save Event. That's all there is to it. I've created a new event. Now all I need to do is assign this event to my iPad. So I'm just going to switch over and open up the Mashbooth app. OK, so now I'm here at the Events tab of my Admin panel. Here you'll see any new events that you create and all the past events you have created as well. As you can see, this new event that I created called YouTube Party is now showing here under the Ongoing Events section. Notice at the top, it currently says that no event is assigned to this iPad yet. This will change as soon as I assign this event. So now, I'm going to tap on YouTube Party. Up here at the top, all I need to do is toggle this to On, where it says Assign this event to iPad. And that's it. Now, this YouTube Party event is assigned to the iPad, and I'm ready to use the Mashbooth app. Oh, and while I'm here, there are a couple of final things I want to point out. All the event settings that I set up previously are all still available to edit here, too. So if you're ever at an event and have a last minute request to change an overlay hashtag or email message, you can change them all right here on the iPad without going back and logging into your settings on the web. Also, now that this event is assigned, all emails and shared data are all being captured. All you'll need to do is go back to your events tab on the web and scroll down to whatever event you want to obtain emails and data for. And that's everything you need to know about creating events in the Mashbooth app. For more information or help in using the Mashbooth app, remember you can always refer to the help section of the app or visit www.mashboothapp.com. Thank you for watching and good luck on your next event.